Welcome back folks, Last Meal here, let's talk about Fallout 4 as well as The Witcher 3. Since my channel is based around The Witcher 3 and Fallout 4, um, I got a lot of questions recently where people ask me which game I enjoy the most and they also ask if what is my opinion on uh, Fallout 4 versus uh, The Witcher 3 because we have Game of the Year awards coming up soon and people are just arguing which game is going to take uh, the, the, that place, the first place of the most, uh, no, the most amazing game this year. Now, personally for me it's hard to talk which game is better because I enjoy both of them and if you love something that much you can't talk objectively uh, about those games. It's the same in love. If you love a person, you're going to restrain yourself from talking bad uh, things about it, or if you're really in love, you're not going to see bad sides of that person. You're only going to see good sides of the person. And that's the same with um, these two games. I can't uh, actually uh, review them objectively, because there's always going to be that uh, um, subjective and kind of a personal opinion about those two games, like... Uh, because I'm actually enjoying them so much, but if we're talking about the technical side of those two games, uh, both of those games have their own pros and cons. I mean, to be honest, comparing Fallout 4 with The Witcher 3 is a mistake, because even though both games are RPGs, uh, you can't compare them, because let's say like this, if Skyrim came out this year, or a new gothic game, then I would be okay with comparing them with The Witcher 3. But having a post-apocalyptic world of Fallout and then having a middle-aged Slavic um, culture and uh, you know setting which is in in The Witcher, it's it's not it. But as I said, both games have different things to offer, and just saying which game is better um, is a mistake. You can't compare them with gameplay. You can't. What you what you can do is compare them with technical side. Now. First of all, when it comes to how much I enjoy the game and how much I actually got involved in the game, I'm gonna give that to The Witcher. And no hard feeling guys, but first of all, when you enter the game and you have every single character has its own uh, deeper thoughts, they have their own charisma, they have their own personalities, and when you have a cutscene, uh, when you when you see Geralt just uh, looking for Ciri and going through all the things um, out there, you can actually feel the emotion between them, but in Fallout, it, it's not the case. But still, having this story that it is in Fallout um, 4 is good, and I, I was not actually disappointed with it. But as I said, uh, in Witcher 3, Geralt already has its own uh, personality. He's going. You kind of know how he's going to react to certain um, things. Yes, you can actually, you know, choose the dialogue, but you can still feel how he's going to reply to them because of his own uh, personality. Because witchers actually stripped of emotions, and uh, they will, they will be just. Uh, they won't care about some things, which is not the case in Fallout 4, where you have uh, a guy that has its own agenda and he's going to do everything to f fulfill that agenda and he kinda doesn't have a personality, you give him that personality, which I didn't see a lot of a choice in, in, in Fallout 4. I mean, yes, dialogue is good, but it didn't have deeper meaning as The Witcher and I'm just going to go with that. Now, when it comes to actually um, atmosphere in the game, I'm going to give... I mean, both of those games have dif different atmosphere. I mean, here in The Witcher, you have um, Geralt, who is a Witcher, who has, has senses, and when you're roaming the map, you actually... You will know when something attacks you. Either music will change, or you will just see them on the mini-map. Here in Fallout 4, it's not the case. I mean, in every Fallout game, you go and explore and you have no idea which thing is going to attack you and when it's going to attack you because in, in Fallout you don't have Witcher senses. So when I'm exploring the, the world in Fallout, uh, I actually get involved in it a bit more. Actually, uh, I'm like, oh my god, this is tense. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to get attacked or something. I have no idea where I'm going. And in The Witcher 3 that wasn't the case, you know where you were going, um, you actually knew when enemies are going to attack you, so yeah, still, you know, both worlds are amazing, and when you go into them, it's just crazy, it's really, really good. 
Now, the most important thing that I want to discuss are graphics. Um, I'm still gonna go with The Witcher when it comes to graphics. Graphics in The Witcher uh, 3 were amazing. From the world design to everything, really nice, beautiful, and overall uh, armor design, character design, everything is just amazing. But still, in Fallout 4, even though that textures are... Uh, not high resolution, even though th this, uh, I mean, graphics in Fallout 4 lack, um, you know, the, 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 the quality that today's game have, I didn't have problems with it, because graphically, I'm really satisfied with uh, Fallout 4. Yes, some people say that graphics are bad when it comes to technical side, when it comes to textures, but still, when, it, when I see the colors, when I see a, a world design, when I see those things, when I see the light, when I see the, the sunset, the sunrise, I still enjoy it and I had no problems with it whatsoever. I mean, of course, it's not uh, detailed as The Witcher, but still, you can see hard work and you can see all the, 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 the amazingness that the Fallout 4 has, so it's a, a really hard um, you know decision to make, which which uh, game has better detailed graphics, but we gotta face the truth, guys. Even though um, Fallout 4 has amazing uh, design and graphics, I'm still going to go with The Witcher, because graphics in The Witcher are better. You can't deny that. You just can't. So, yeah, that's, that's what it actually is with the graphics. Now, as I said, guys, it's really hard to compare those two games, and I enjoy them both. And if I could tell you which game to buy, I'm going to say buy both if you can't. I mean, buy both. Uh, I can't say like buy this or buy that because I'm enjoying both games and I, I can't recommend this game when you want this game or I can't recommend Witcher if you want to play Fallout. It just depends uh, from you itself. What do you like? What you don't like? You must assume that in, in The Witcher 3 you don't have first person and overall gameplay is a bit different because when it comes to the story and the gameplay in, in The Witcher 3 you're just a witcher in this huge world where uh, you have uh, armies on one side, you have armies on this side and they're actually going to collide together so you can't really uh, make that much influence in that you're just one person in this huge world but in Fallout you're like a demigod walking the wasteland and your choices are going to affect um, the world on a on a larger scale, which is not a thing in The Witcher 3. I mean, yes, you can affect um, some uh, global changes, but usually you're, you're only going to affect uh, like this uh, short circle of people that you involve with. So, still. Both games are, are great, and I just hope I can deliver uh, this comparison as best as I can. So, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Don't forget to leave your comments down below and tell me what you think about this. Are you uh, agreeing with this with me on this one, or you disagree? If you disagree, please let me know in the comments why. So, thank you for watching. Last Meal signing out, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay classy, everyone. Bye-bye.